Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. So I'm over here adding a bit of fun stuff over to the apiary setup right here. So just adding a simple battery box with two solar panels instead of having to basically rely on a truckload of Mm, let's just say cabling to get everything to go from one place to the other. We're going to need to add a bunch of covers. I think a traditional stone covers system to go so that we actually have a floor and ceiling again. But for now, I think this is good. So what I think we're going to add is a manager here. And that should be good. And we're going to need to add the accelerator to one part of the system. And... It seems that this manager is only going for this part of the carpenter. So at least we know that it's not this, the bottom, that we need to hook up. Or is this even red power compatible? We're going to have to try a few things. So what we want to see is if any sort of slot on this setup allows us to change its location, so to speak. So let's put this temporary chest to get this thing out of the way and there goes everything let's see there we go if you please thank you madame oh you're too kind oh what do you mean oh no oh no oh no no i have no clue okay so this probably doesn't need to be here the apiaries we can put over there and here we got our well a lot of scented paneling that i cannot lie about so Let's see what happens if we put one of those things here instead. Manager, please, if you would be so kind, let's see what you speweth forth. Spew. Or not spew. I guess it's your decision. There we go. And we got all the stuff in this inventory. So what that means is that the stuff that's on the side, basically we have to hook this thing up to the side and then we'll be able to have everything issuing forth. So let's see, that means we'll need to set this up, like, hmm, put this here instead and add this to our entire system and we're just going to need to grab this and do a bit of handiwork by adding an accelerator here and then a simple mag tube so all of this will be connected and we're going to need to set this up so that it grabs a bunch of the required ingredients let's see uh... wood do we have much wood yes we do we're going to want an entire stack so let's get one stack of wood plus change i suppose because it is something we're going to have to change and we'll want exactly one stack of wood so we'll order one stack of wood from wherever this stuff is going to come from and eventually it's going to pump in from the system that's way over there so here's one stack of wood the rest is getting sent backwards because it cannot be accepted and there it's sent way the back Way the back over there. Yes, indeed. Um, hmm. That might mean that we're going to need to s basically lower our buffer amount. But as long as we have all this, I think we're good. So at least one stack of wood stuff in here. We're going to want one stack of beeswax, I think, which it won't be able to get yet. And we're going to want probably half a stack of royal jelly, half a stack of pollen, I know it's very appalling and then we got the royal jelly we got the pollen we got the oak panelings I don't think there's anything else now another thing we're going to want to add is probably a sorting machine to pull everything out uh, okay so how are we going to get items that are not normally like that into here what we'll probably need to do is just hook up some mag tubes over here to some sort of system that will grab the stuff automatically, hopefully. Um, or we could add a bunch of managers to this, but it's probably more costly to do that. Could add it manually? I don't see why not. 
but is there any point in having such a full manual effort to get everything? No, not really. So if we just put an accelerator and a manager here with a chest here, it might be the good idea. So it might be a little cluttered though, so let's actually see what we can get. So here and here, if we put a chest here, that might be good. Hmm. No, it might not be even. Hmm. Now, what I'm trying to get is so that we'll be able to have a certain amount of royal jelly, pollen, etc. to pull from to get into this system. If we don't, there's almost no point in having this set up, and pretty much we have to go off to the races instead to get any sort of uh, royal happenings to happen. See what I did there? No? Good, because I didn't either. So, let's just pause a bit and see if there's any sort of elegant solution to our problem. Because if there isn't, we might have to go with the default situation. Maybe could grab a, put a chest here, and when it gets full of the stuff that we are pulling from, or we could just pull from here. Hmm, let me think for a moment. I suppose for now what we could do is just set up an initial system that will at least hold all the items that we can and don't have some sort of ready access to. So what we'll do is throw the royal jelly, beeswax, and pollen into, into the manager. I know it's very appalling, but uh, we do what we have to. And gather this one chest that we have and we'll have a bit of a not-so-automatic you know, putting it over there might be a better setup. Now we still need to have a chest that will get all the scented paneling. Which this chest is going to need to be a part of anyway. So let's get this down again and move this so that it's right next to it. So that the chest will be here and have a much more centralized access and it'll be able to access the energy much more readily and be a little closer, so to speak. So let's see. We'll need to have this as a not-so-exact quantity and get one scented paneling for now because we will want to route a method to get scented paneling as well, and it just got lost into the ether. Well... Apparently, that is not exactly what we wanted to do, so let's just put that back in so we have a bit more understanding of what we need to do. So, as we saw before, we are able to pull items out from the bottom of this. And also, we don't have the required any of this, really, so let's gather a bit of this so that this can get equalized and started. There we go. And it is jammed up for some reason. Is there something that I can't put there for some reason? Hmm. Let's see. I put beeswax and... Is there a problem, my good sir? No? Then why the heck are you doing that? I have no clue. I have no clue. Okay, so let's try that again. And it's outputting the items, but for some reason, it's not liking what it was doing before. So we have that exact quantity. There we go. I guess I wasn't giving it enough equalization time, or the beeswax is just not liking it right now. Do we have beeswax here? Yes, we do. It should be able to accept any amount. Ah, there we go. It's equalized or it's just gonna stay jammed for some odd reason. But we'll see what happens in the future. This might take, maybe it's jamming with some sort of wood as a byproduct. I'm not too sure. We're gonna have to watch as this system goes on a bit longer. But for now, I think this is good. So what we need now is to get a simple a uh, sorting machine to be able to pull all the scented panelings out into that repository chest. 
Once that is done, we'll be able to think of some more complex method to automatically create all of the alveary blocks that we are going to need because the alveary blocks are the base ingredient. And all it requires are some impregnated casings, which is going to require wood and a carpenter and the seed oil. Thankfully, we have a healthy supply of seed oil already. And we got all the other things that will be required. So let me make a few sorting machines I think should suffice. And I don't believe our sorting machine is currently programmed in, so we won't be able to do that. But let's just do a little more alchemical wizardry, shall we? Yes, we shall, indeed. And if you were wondering if I was attempting to sound like an oddball right there, you'd be correct. At least you'd have a general understanding of why I cannot allow any nice things to happen in this world. <laughs> okay, um, I think I have some tube work over here. Let's deposit the non-necessary ingredients that I currently have in my possession. Mag tubes probably aren't going to be needed, and this will go here. So let's get our pneumatic tubes. They're a little new, so we'll have to work on them. And let's get our thing over here. It's going to need to be put right there. So let's see. Uh, place. Good, it's in the wrong place. Great. Uh, maybe you can put them on top. Or we need to do a shift click. And it's in the wrong location. So that is going to warrant me to... Oh, yes, I got a screwdriver. Great. So let's put this here. It needs to go at the top. There we go. It should eventually get some form of power and go in the regular cyclical manner going up like so. So that will get all the scented paneling going into the correct slot, orifice, etc. I don't know. Um, maybe eventually it will be better to have some sort of manager set up to do that. But for now, I think this will be good. Uh, that works, and etc. So I still don't know why or how it's getting jammed up. Hmm. Let's just watch it, see if anything buggy happens. Maybe it's due to some sort of wood or something. I have no clue. But for whatever reason it is, it should eventually work itself out. But for now, that's not what we're going to need to focus on. So what we need now is to be able to make um, all of the, well, the seed oil we're not going to have a problem with. But we need to get this carpenter to make all of this uh, fun stuff. And if there was any way, maybe we can take this off and move the carpenter to a more trustworthy location. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do I have any of those droplet things? Uh, let's see. Pipettes. Do I have a pipette? No, I do not. Pipette, please. Pipette. Pipette. Get your pipette here. It is going to require wool and glass cover panel thingies and I got the wool at least so we're going to need to fight around for a little glass I'll, actually I have a good place that I have glass so let's quickly get some of the glass and then move onwards now I'm not actually 100% sure on how much this pipette can grab from a system so we're going to have to play it cautiously let's take that off and put a pipette here and apparently it's only up to one bucket amount. Do we have any sort of cells that we can use instead? Because cells might be uh, more likely to work. So cans here. Go. Arrivederci. Right click. Left click. Middle click. Middle finger? No, not going to work. Okay, so we're going to have to waste some of our stuff over here. I suppose I could have used it. That might have been a little more preferential, but whatever. So, Carpenter is going to need to be placed in a power location. Maybe here. Now, will we be able to access everything? I suppose we need to be able to have access to wood. So, that's where I guess a manager will come in and some sort of thing that will be able to access 
not wood as in planks, but wood as in, you know what I mean. So, uh, we're also going to need to gather some more of this stuff, because I don't think we have the required stuff. I must have, I must have some of those in a chest somewhere. So, let me quickly look, because if I have the energy conduits in a chest, I won't need to waste precious redstone on remaking them. So, let me actually... This will be good enough for now. We'll worry about anything else later, but for now, this is good. So, squeezer, some more wasted stuff. At least it's going to be only a few nuts and bolts. Hopefully, just nuts, though, because I don't want to lose my bolts. Which, honestly, which guy would prefer to lose their bolts over their nuts? Am I mixing things up? Probably. So, let's see. What are we going to need to add to this? We're going to need to have a method to carpenter this stuff as well as a seed oil machine. So just probably putting the squeezer down for now is a good way to get some stuff going. And we'll have to have some, probably just a simple liquid duct thing over there to access the seed oil that may or may not come out of it there. You never know. And we don't really need much of a buffer system because these chestnuts are a buffer system all on its own. So, if we put the carpenter right here, we'll be able to put a manager in front of it and have something pull out and probably go into here for all of those, um, you know, those woody things. Yeah, woody things. Things are getting a little woody, uh, but... Yeah, that should work. So if we just put a manager there and a sorting machine underneath it, thank you, that should work. So putting a cable preemptively right here, sorting machine right here. We'll have to set this up to the correct amount and also put it in the correct location because that would help also. And see how many times way can fail at Apparently it is three times way can fail at placing such a simple machine. There we go. Isn't that a lot more pretty? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Come again. Maybe never. I don't care. So, we got that in place. I'll get some liquidux as well. Then we can get this seed oil going at a much more pleasant pace than what it is currently. And maybe eventually we'll be able to automatically route the stuff once everything is fully situated in a desirable location for the vocation. Okay, we got some liquid ducts and we got a bit more energy. So now this Atarka gate is starting to look out of place, but whatnot. So here we go. Let's put this here and this here. We're going to need to wrench this because this is going to be our squeezer, the big squeeze. And this for our manager will want to have exactly, uh, let's set this to priority one, exactly one stack of wood, though we are going to need to set the recipe. Here we go, recipe set, and exactly one stack, and we should be able to pull some stuff out, but we're going to put one item in here, and put the stack into here, and it should automatically get both pulled out here, but in the other location, because it does look like wood is needed in other locations. It just can't get enough wood. Now, seems like it's still not fast enough, but it doesn't matter too much, and it's still getting blocked somehow. It's the dang beeswax. For some reason, the beeswax is not being... Well, good. For some reason, it's just outputting itself at an alarming... Well, it doesn't need to output like that. Let's just leave it at that and then just wrench this back into position so that we'll be able to get this working at a bit of a pace. So here we go. We got some mulch as well, which is a product I'm not used to. Are we able to pull that out at all? I don't think so. And the mulch might be useful in something. Though, whatever. So, it's going at a fast enough pace. We're going to need to have some good supply of walnuts in the future. But, as you see, I moved it over so that the sorting machine is right here instead. And the reason for this is we're going to want to have, well, the energy. 
from here so that we don't have to have any complex wiring. So let's get one of our impregnated casings and allow it to go um, from here or rather get stored into here because otherwise it's just going to get ejected right away. So pull automatically once we get the power to stop fluctuating and it's probably not fluctuating because it doesn't have enough power, fluctuating because, well, we added another power source, therefore it just doesn't like us right now. So what use do we have for mulch right now? Uh, let's see, let's grab the mulch and see if there's any use in actually making it. We can make some hummus or some bog earth from it using a carpenter with water. Guess that is a good thing, though currently I don't really have much use for this. So I guess we can skip that for now. And we do have some impregnated casings working their way through the system. So let's put our scented panelings back into here. And obviously we can automatically craft this stuff once we have a good automatic crafting system going. Now what I'm thinking we'll do is probably just make an impromptu automatic crafting system because we don't really need too much hocus pocus going around such as having one of those on-demand crafters. So we'll have a quasi on-demand crafter probably situated around the same location but we'll need to get a good location or else it's just gonna screw us up. Let's go with that. So here we go. We'll have a chest here and an automatic crafter that'll go into another chest and thankfully we'll have an Atarkic gate for all of that. So let's make our automatic crafter. It'll need some of this. One of these. Thank you. And is this enough wood? Yes it is. Of course I can never have enough wood. And there we go. We got our wooden gears and we have our automatic crafting table. Thank you. And thankfully we do have an Atarkic gate already at the ready. Already at the ready. Good job, Way. Good job. Do we have any extra chests? No extra denizens for ourselves. So we're going to have to go on the unfortunate possibility of having to make our own chests. Maybe have some automatic way to make the chests as well. That might be helpful. Eh, whatever. So also powering this up going to need to get this here to put it into the system. It'll start fluctuating a bit. We'll put this as priority one. And for this, we'll have eight scented panelings and an impregnated casing. Of course, we're going to need to set our automatic crafting table up first of all. Here we go. And here we go. So this is our alviary going to need to set this up so we'll want exactly that. So here we got our impregnated casings and we got our scented panelings. Panelings, yay! And this is still probably barking at the unneeded beeswax. Though I guess I'm okay with that. So all that we'll have to do is set up the simple wooden gate. Now I believe there is something called an emerald pipe that has been added. I guess it's kind of like a diamond automatic pulling pipe thingamabobber. That is the technical term, by the way. Look it up. It will probably save you a lot of time in the comment section. So I'll quickly make, or rather gather, the wooden pipes I probably sent in a very odd location. I guess this will do, yeah. And... Well, that would have worked as well. Then again, no, it wouldn't have because that is a wooden pipe. So we'll want all the alviary ingredients to go into here. Which will need to be wrenched back and we'll have this so that when there is no redstone signal, we'll put an energy pulsar. And then we'll have our alviary blocks automatically get created out of the wazoo and therefore will automatically create all the alveary blocks that we'll need at any given time. That being said, it is going to be a bit of a long process since most of this stuff we can't really count for. For instance, the wood, that is required. So let's just chunk in a bunch of our wood and it will be grabbed and thrown into every which way. We'll get more of these paneling things and do we have any more wood? 
not really it's just gonna get sent to do the automatic crafting thing over way over there and so it probably means that yeah this location shouldn't be for any sort of items that going to be well stored this shouldn't be a storage space especially for one part that's going to be really working its butt off to get all the ingredients probably what would be best is if we get all the automatic crafting in one location but then again seeing as we didn't actually no inventory space what do you mean oh for the seed oil there we go seeing as we don't really have any build craft power over there seeing as the conduits are bloody expensive we can't really add it into any system. That being said, considering we got mag tubes, eventually we can probably throw in a conduit system that runs parallel with this, and it'll probably be a lot better than what we have right now. Also, maybe seed oil on demand, because hey, that stuff's awesome. Okay, let's see if this works instead. We'll put a barrel here and what we'll have is we'll have it as many as possible and we'll have as many oak as possible so let's put in as much oak as we can and it's going to pull out a lot of it unfortunately it won't be able to jam anything back in so hopefully it'll just jam it somewhere instead then again it might jam it into this wood location I'm not even sure how much wood this woodchuck can chuck so there might be some things that we have to change here, some efficiencies that might be needing to be gained, seeing as the fact that this is almost out of wood already. So wood is getting shoved somewhere. Probably getting shoved into one of these chests. So let's see if we can gather this chest. No. It's automatically being crafted probably over here. And we can't access that, so there's no point really poking around. Hmm, maybe it's just getting lost in transit and can't get sent back here because there's no filter. I can probably put a filter back onto that location, or we can... No, that won't work. Anyways, so we should have at least a temporary wood supply. I have no idea why I'm throwing those out, but whatever. And let's set up our next alviary, and actually let's set up a heater. So an alviary heater should be enough. If we can find the actual heater anywhere, that will be helpful. Um, let's type in alviary instead. Alviary heater, heater? Alviary heater, there we go. So it requires an alviary uh, golden electron tube and stone. That should be simple. Do we have a gold or redstone in here? Yes, we do. We're just going to need to get the redstone component of that and get a little stone. Got some stone. Let me just quickly get the redstone component and then we can... Oh, I know where I put those. <sighs> thought I had a bit of an epiphany, but apparently I have not. I thought I remembered the location of where a bunch of my stuff, i.e., more importantly, redstone energy conduits were, but apparently I was barking mad. So let's see how many alviary tiles we've managed to make. We managed to create 40 of them, so that should be enough, and we're still making more. So this setup is definitely doing its job. Let's grab in one more of these because we're going to need to make another component that is very necessary for our alviary. We're still going to need one more of these, so let's quickly get it before it's taken off of the shelves, never to be seen again, because that is kind of unfortunate. So we take one of these alviaries, put our iron on top, and two of our golden electron tubes, and we get an alviary heater. This will raise whatever temperature the alviary sees, quote-unquote, and will allow us to use some hotter bees, so to speak, in a more, well, environmentally friendly location. So what we'll do is quickly grab one of these uh, full energy cells, and I'm not too sure how much energy these acclimatizers actually use. So let's just plop down one of our apiaries right here. 
Uh, this is as good of a location as any, so why not? Hopefully we don't get too much junk, but what am I kidding? So first, of course, we have our standard alveary hull, and we'll replace one of them with an alveary heater. The rest of it will be simple as usual, and we'll put wooden oak slabs on the top, and we get our alveary, which has a heater element. Now, obviously, there's no queen, and we'll power up the alveary by adding a redstone energy cell to the heater. Now, I might actually need a few uh, heat things. No is transferring the energy to the heat, er, rather, and let's boost it up to a higher amount. We'll have that running a bit, and eventually when we find all of the redstone energy conduits, uh, yeah, tell me if you happen to see them in any of the chests that I have looked in. Hmm. What? How the heck did you exist? And how did that just disappear? I don't know. Uh, apparently that is not where I was looking, so let's actually gather the bees from the nether, at least. Let's go with the fiendish ones, since I think those are the most trustworthy. And then we'll recreate the setup eventually. Da, 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 da. Okay, so a lot of energy has been used, and for some reason it's not actually heating up the heater at all. I'm not too sure. So let's put our hellish in here. It says it's a hostile environment, though it should be good. We're going to need to put some nether wart here. So let's grab a sprig of nether wart as well as the soul sand with it. And it should be a lot better than that. Okay, let's get that junk out of the way. I do not want any flowers. I will not buy, buy your sweet red roses, even if it's only two blooms for a penny. Uh, there we go. It still says hostile environment. So maybe these redstone energy conduits are going to need a bit more. So let's put this here and get three conduits from somewhere. Let's see if I can find any. So impatiently I stole them from one of the apparatus. So let's just quickly put this in and it might be with how it receives the stuff but this should be giving adequate heat to the system and shouldn't be a hostile environment anymore unless it needs more alveary heaters than even this so let's bump up the temperature to as much as we humanly can apparently we are going to need more alveary heaters so let me quickly make some more alveary heaters and see if that helps so let's take this and make one more. Okay, last attempt. It's saying that it's a normal climate. So this should give us enough energy. If it doesn't, then we're going to have a bit of a problem. It still says it's normal with a temperature of 89%. So is there no possibility whatsoever of this being bumped up to high enough chance to get to the nether? I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to have to test this out a bit. Maybe there's something I can do with changing the temperature tolerances to a bit more, but this is an absurd amount of energy that I'm outputting to the heaters for it not to work. So I'm going to do a bit of testing in my spare time, see what we can do, and hopefully get these fiendish queens to actually work. Work, dang it! Work! Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE e. Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.